warmer until tomorrow. But before we can talk about tomorrow, there's actually a possibility <laughs> for snow tonight. Yes. Yeah, John, you've been busy there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been crazy busy the past couple of weeks. And light snow, less than half an inch or an inch, doesn't seem like a lot, but if it falls right now, it can cause big time problems and headaches out there. Definitely a nuisance if you're driving tonight for your commute. Now here were those lows this morning. Uh, Madison at 26 below. I, I thought I saw most places around Madison, including Oregon, where I live at 30 below zero. You can see Lone Rock coming in at 39 below. I saw a couple viewers put in reports of 40 below. Barry at 30 below. Camp Douglas 35. Montella 32 below. I am so sick of using the word below after I say temperature. It is crazy. It throws me off. How about we just say a temperature and it's not below. All right, so 26 below this morning, but there are huge changes on the way. You're not going to Florida. You're staying here because on Sunday it's going to be 43. It's tropical paradise, baby. 70 degree warm up. You're just going to post up with the new Glarus beer in your hand and you're going to enjoy the drizzle we're going to have on Sunday. All right, it's five below out there now, seven below in Baraboo, but we're on the way up. I walked outside today. It felt good which was confusing for me and I couldn't believe it was still five below out there. It's just we're so used to these crazy cold temperatures that anything feels decent. It's calm. That's good news. The winds are going to shift. You can see them out of the east right now. Eventually they're going to come out of the south and then we're going to be seeing the warm up. But first we have to get through that snow that we were talking about. You're seeing the darker blues. That's Cuba City, Monroe and the Broadhead area, Beloit. That's where I think we have the concerns right now. There's still going to be some very light snow near Richland Center coming into Madison. I still expect a dusting. We'll see if it causes slick spots, but the best chance for a half an inch to an inch will be those, I'd say, counties touching the Illinois border. You track this out on Future Track. It's not a lot of snow, like I said, but it's just the timing of this. 9 p.m., you'll see it come up to Madison. If you live north of Madison, probably not seeing much, but Janesville through 11 will still see the snow, and then it's gone by 4 o'clock in the morning. Accumulations, I've been saying it, it's not a lot. Maybe upwards of an inch from Platteville over to Janesville, a dusting from Madison, and I'd say not much at all if you live north of Dane County. So the temperature's still obviously cold, but there are some big changes on the way. You could see Grand Island, Rapid City in the 40s, and this is coming in. So there's our snow. It moves in, uh, moves out, excuse me, by Friday, a great day to be outside for winter activities. Then the warmth comes up. Probably not the best this weekend because it's going to be too warm. Watching some drizzle Saturday, if warmth continues, another large low pressure center comes in. We're just on the wrong side of this one if you want snow. Snow, it's going to be in northern Minnesota. We are going to be seeing light rain. Thank goodness it's light rain and not going to be downpours, so we shouldn't see anywhere near half an inch or an inch of rain. Let's track out those temperatures. Good news is they're not really falling tonight. Where they're at now is where they'll stay. 18 degrees, positive tomorrow. I never, I never have to usually use the word positive, but I'll do it one time there. Uh, then Saturday we go to 33 above. And then by Sunday, you're in the 40s. We just keep climbing through the weekend. Four below tonight, there's that below word. Still expecting an inch of snow on the, on the counties touching the Illinois border, most of us are dusting. Tomorrow, 18 degrees above. And then if we go to Saturday, we'll be at 36, 43 by Sunday. It is not going to be tropical. It is going to be drizzly. And uh, but it's going to be 43. It'll be nice to just thaw things out. Then we have another chance for snow on Wednesday and then we're back to eight on Thursday. So we're not hitting the beach this weekend. <laughs> I mean, you were confusing me with that graphic. It's, no. it's in your mind. <laughs> yeah. OK, yeah. listen, it's just to, state of mind. it's a beach in my mind just so I can get the I like snow it, out of my wheel. Well, yes, get out of there. I like it. Thanks, John. All right. Well,